let me tell you what happened this last week. And I don't have this story posted at freedomfriday.carlgals, but I will. I promise. I'll find it. Even when we go off the air, I'll find it and post it up there. But unless they've changed the headlines, because here's what happened. Last week, some of you probably saw these stories. There were several mainstream media, I'm talking about from London to New York, Washington Post, all over the place, several mainstream media stories proclaiming, and I'm going to have to paraphrase because I don't have it in front of me, but the headlines paraphrase something like this. DNA proves the biblical story about the Canaanites is wrong. Now, again, this goes to what Mike and Brandon were saying. If you can go back to the beginning of the Bible and show that that's a lie, then the rest of the Bible just kind of falls apart, or it should, you know, logically thinking, right? Or at least it's unreliable. So the account of the Canaanites is in the beginning of the Bible. And so the headlines around the world last week were declaring, now that we have this new technology and we've been mapping DNA and we can determine people's heritage and lineage, and we can go all the way back to the beginning, the woman in Africa that started it all, all this stuff, they started researching and their, their article that they printed said, we've discovered that the people of Lebanon, many of the people of Lebanese descent, they have the DNA characteristics of the ancient Canaanites. And so the point they were making is, is that these people are descendants of the Canaanites. They're directly related, proving that the Canaanites were not wiped out by the Israelites as the Bible declares. This is what their story was saying. This is what their headlines. So the Bible is an absolute lie. It's a fraud. It's a fake. Because now science has proven that Canaanites are still among us and they are in Lebanon. Now, that's my paraphrase of it, but that was their argument. Well, I mean, immediately when I saw that headline, I thought it was a joke because I happen to know the Word of God, and the Bible's clear. The Israelites failed to wipe out the Canaanites, and God's Word goes into great detail. God's judgment was upon the Israelites because he, they failed to do what He told them to do. To wipe them out. And in my new book coming up, Gods and Thrones, I actually have several chapters on why it was God called upon the Israelites to wipe them out. Man, woman, boy, and girl. Animals, everything. I mean, that, that freaks people out when you read it. But when you read my book and read those couple of chapters and the stuff that I've uncovered in history and in the Word of God, oh my gosh. But anyway, I digress. It's called Gods and Thrones. By the way, you can order it at Amazon right now. It doesn't act officially release till October. But you can already order it now and get it several weeks early. Go to carlgalps.com. Click on the banner. You can't miss it. But anyway, back to the story. So, so all over the world, they were reporting. JC? I'm looking at JC right now. Because, you know, I'm looking at the microphone visualizing tens and tens of thousands of listeners. But i got to look at JC. I look at, so all over the world, JC... <laughs> J.C. leaned back, he's smiling and shaking his head like, okay, I'll play your game. All over the world, J.C., they're reporting in the headlines. See, we've disproved the Bible. Science has disproved the Bible. And what they didn't know, J.C., was that they just proved the Word of God to be true. Because there are no Canaanite tribes around or people claiming to be Canaanites anymore, so it would appear they were wiped out, even though the Bible says they weren't. But now DNA science, and they've already published it in the headlines, so they can't get out of this, proves that they're still here, mainly from the Lebanese people. Because these atheist, liberal, idiot fools, is what God calls them, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So, so God calls them fools, so I'm calling them fools, because they didn't know the Word of God. See how God confounds the wisdom of the wise? how he's continually unveiling and pulling up, uh, pulling back the curtains to show us the stupidity and the duplicity and the fake news and the lying and the ignorance of people who have denied God. All over the headlines last week, DNA proves the Bible is wrong. When actually, because they didn't know the Word of God, they just declared to the whole world, to anybody that knows the Word, DNA proves the Bible was right all along. For thousands and thousands and thousands of years, the Bible has been right. 
I just thought you guys might like that. Can we take an early time out, JC? Is it too early? All right, I want to take an early time out because when we come back, I've got another really astounding big story.